Hello, it's Paolo Synthmania. Just a quick PSA to show how to load to and uh, save from a computer for the Insonic Mirage using a piece of software called MDisk. And here is MDisk right here. And there, were, there used to be a lot of uh, different programs back in the day to transfer files, um, uh, also to the EPS and other samplers. But MDisk is the one that I found works really well for the Insonic Mirage. So to install the MDisk, you, you'll need these two files at the website. This FD install first, which is really called FD raw command dot system. And you need this is like the driver for MDisk to talk to the built-in floppy drive on your Windows XP computer. Who remembers this? Uh, the classic uh, window, Windows uh, meadow with the uh, blue sky and the, and the clouds. So you first install this piece of software here. I already installed it. And, um, and then you can run MDisk from a command window. So you just uh, run the command window. And then And, and you can see here is the um, MDisk EXE. Then you'll need simply a double density floppy as um, it's common with this old sampler. Plug it into the computer. And the first thing you wanna do is to format it with um, MDisk with uh, Ansonic Mirage format. So you just do MDisk space format. Just like so. And it will start formatting the disk. And I'll skip forward because it takes a minute. And there you go, the format is complete. The debug is zero, all good. And now you'll need a, an image, a raw image, and they're available on the internet or you can make your own sounds. But this, this one here called C5 here, it's, um, it's a sound, it's got orchestral sounds and other sounds on the mirror. So to save this image to disk, all you need to do, all you need to do is uh, mdisk space restore dash i, and then the name of the file, right now it's uh, C5, so just uh, C5. And it will dump that raw file onto the disk. And it's an orchestral file. And again, we wait a few seconds, I'll skip. And there you go, zero errors. Now the orchestra file is copied to the disk. And now you can also do the opposite. That is when you have a floppy disk, you can uh, save it to, to the computer. And to do that, you just do the mdisk space dump dash O, and then you name it, the, the, the name that you wanna name it, say orchestra. And there you go, you press enter. And you, as you can see here, it will uh, dump the floppy disk. It will convert it to a raw file, the, just the opposite. And notice that you have to have the FDN install M disk on the same location on the drive. You can, of course, you can put it anywhere right now. It's on the, my documents. And then you can just put the floppy in the drive of the Mirage and uh, call up the sound that you want. And we should have the orchestral sounds. And of course you can do these for any of the other sound. And also another really cool feature of MDisk is that you can uh, extract and save the, um, the, the raw waveforms in wave format, very useful. So for example, I put the floppy disk back in the drive and with this command here, MDisk 
space extract dash t and then um, wave colon and I think it's on L2 the one we're looking for the orchestral sound space dash o and then you want to give it the name of uh, the wave file you're outputting it to so let's say orc one dot wave presenter and as you can see it saved that in sonic format sound into wave file and the really cool thing about it is that uh, when you play these in, um, in modern day computers with a modern day audio interface <laughs> that sample will sound a lot better a lot more i-fi than when you're simply from the low res of the mirage really cool and then you can do the opposite you can um, output the wave file onto the disk with uh, M disk save dash T and wave let's put it on L2 and dash I and then the file name and it will do the opposite it will write that wave file to the disk really cool piece of software started uh, selling a lot of gear and uh, trying to digitize as many things as possible for a future project that I have so I hope this is helpful to anyone who has um, an old <laughs> Mirage keyboard or rack